Hey everybody, Sevel here, and today we're going to be going through the task 3 portion of the Blaster Room and Try Hack Me. Uh, in the last video, we went through task 2, obviously, and we uh, got some port information. We found the hidden directory retro, got the uh, username of the, um, of the box, which was Wade, and the password. And then we got the user flag and called it quits after that. And now we're on to task, uh, or, yeah, task 3, where it looks like we're going to be getting an elevated prompt. And I figured that this time around I'd go through the box um, kind of fresh so that way um, I'm not explaining exactly what I did and you could just see it uh, firsthand. So let's uh, not waste any more of your time today and we'll get right into it. I went ahead and already deployed the box so we're good there. And uh, we'll hop on with uh, number one. So when enumerating a machine, it's often useful to look at what the user was last doing. Look around the machine and see if you can find the CVE, uh, the CVE which was researched on the server. What CVE was it? So let's go ahead and get Rimino fired up. I still don't know the uh, proper way to pronounce that if I even, uh, you know, if I'm already doing it, I really don't know. But uh, until then, I'll just continue to call it Rimino. So <laughs> let's go ahead and what's the IP? 1010-38103, uh, perfect. So 1010-38103. Uh, we already know the username, that's Wade, and we know the password is Parzival. And I didn't uh, mess with the resolution last time, but since it looks like we're going to be in here for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use the client resolution, which should kind of make it look a little bit better for us. All right, so there's that user TXT that we had last time, so we're good there. And let's see, let's go ahead and put that to full screen mode. And we need to find the CVE, which he was researching, so we'll assume that he was doing that on Internet Explorer, hopefully. And let's make sure there's not Google Chrome or something. All right, so... Internet Explorer it is. And I, you know, we don't have internet on this machine, so I wonder. Okay, yeah, so maybe we just have to go through their history. So let's see. Um, that looks, oh, well, there you go. Uh, so CVE 2019-1388. That was pretty easy. Uh, just going through the history of Internet Explorer and obviously uh, everybody who's in security or computers in general, sysadmins, whatever, uh, they know about the NIST standard and the CSF uh, cybersecurity framework. So I uh, kind of figured that would bring us there. So let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, get that plugged in. And we'll actually copy that link and we'll just go there on our host. And I'll actually just take that flag right there or that part of the flag and that should be it. Perfect, so that was correct. Uh, looks like an executable file is necessary for the exploitation of this vulnerability and the user didn't really clean up very well after testing it. What is the name of this executable? So, um, let's see. So this, uh, this CVE is a elevation uh, privesque vulnerability. It exists in the Windows certificate dialog when it does not properly enforce user privileges. Okay. So what we can do is uh, just search that and see that there's a nice video for us. Perfect. Okay. Um, is there any? Just seeing if there's any like good POCs maybe we can go off of. Um, all right. So let's. Um, you didn't clean it up very well. Darn you, Wade. And it looks like the name is HHUPD. So, well, let me copy that. It will. Okay. Perfect. I believe that's all we needed was the name. And it was. Awesome. So, research vulnerability and how to exploit it. Exploit it now to gain an elevated terminal. So, it looks like we're about to get a quick little privesque. Let's um, watch this video here. I'm going to go through this video and then um, I'll just pick you guys back up right where it ends so that way you don't have to go through this uh, 2 minute and 36 seconds of pure wonderfulness and uh, we'll see you then. And we're back. So I had a little bit of an issue. My internet uh, decided to take a hit while I was watching that video and ruin the connection. So uh, I just went ahead and refreshed everything and we're back to it. Um, I watched the video. I kind of get the idea of what's going on so I think I'm ready to go ahead and execute so let's go ahead and get right into it we're gonna go ahead and um, we restore that file that was in recycle bin that Wade forgot to clean up and uh, empty so we're gonna take that we restore that file we're gonna go ahead and run that as administrator 
and it's going to obviously give us the UAC prompt to uh, put in those administrator credentials. And we're just going to go ahead and do show more details, view the publisher's certificate, and then we're going to click the hyperlink of the issuer. And what that should do is it should bring a Internet Explorer process up and we can just actually exit out of this. And here's that Internet Explorer process. And it should fail because we don't have any Internet. should fail if it decides to load today there it goes all right and it did fail so all we need to do is save this should work and it's going to give us this error that uh, it's unavailable and we can just hit okay do that and what we're going to do is we're actually going to parse over to the system 32 uh, directory so uh, let's actually see uh, windows system 32 and then we're going to look for some wildcard stuff we're actually going to hit enter there then we can go up and go to CMD and we'll go ahead and open that. And now, as you can see, we have a um, elevated uh, command prompt. So we can do a who am I? And you can see that we are uh, system. And I believe that was one of our questions here. Let's see. Yep, now that we spawn a terminal, let's go ahead and run the command who am I? And we know that we are uh, NT. Oops, NT authority system. Perfect. And now the final question is, now that we've confirmed that we have elevated prompt, read the contents of root.txt on the administrator's desktop. What are the contents? Keep the terminal up after exploitation so we can use it in task four. So let's go ahead and, oops, head over to, if I can get to that thing, I'll just go ahead and click it like a normal human being. And uh, we'll go to the user direct, the administrator directory so that we can, um, let's see, we're going to CD out of that into that. If I could spell administrators correctly. CD administrator. Oh, I keep put, putting an S, my apologies. <laughs> All right, then we can go into that, into desktop, and then there should be root.txt.txt so we could just type uh, root.txt.txt to the screen and you can see that the flag here is th uh, try hack me coin operated exploitation i don't know if i can copy from here i think i can that's fine we'll uh we'll just go ahead and plug it in here so it's a uh, thm and then uh, coin what was it coin operated exploitation so coin operated exploitation and there it is task three is complete and we have now uh, breached the control room and we're gonna do the adoption into the collective next so I hope you enjoyed this video sorry that uh, we had a little bit of a uh, hiccup there but uh, you know n nothing lost in that so uh, I appreciate the look uh, you guys have a great day and I'll catch you for task four have a good one bye